What's up? Jeff exclamation point here. And I am doing something I've always wanted to do. I have never been here. I'm finally here after years of living in Florida. I am at the Strawberry Festival. And joining with me today is Dwayne. Yay! Hey guys. All right. We're going to uh, probably eat a lot. A lot. Uh, we're going to look at cool things, potentially buy anything we can get for free. We're going to get. Uh, we'll look at the rides. I'll tell you, I'm probably not going to do a single ride. I will get sick. No, so, do. we're going to show you the rides I will not do. <laughs> so, there we go. All right, let's go have some fun. Go. Well, this is very fitting for today. So I wasn't quite expecting this place to be as big as it really is. But we're in this whole section over here. There's one of the entrances. Uh, that's not the side that we came in. Uh, but you kind of see around me, these are kind of like the little kiddie rides. Uh, I was looking at ticket prices. And it looks like it's a dollar a ticket. And uh, to go on this little strawberry one I just showed you, it's three tickets, so three dollars to go on that ride. But, oh my gosh, some of the food. There's pizza. There's french fries with lots of things on top of it. Look at that. We got corn. Holy cow, and lemonade. There's bumper cars, coconut cream donuts, sweetheart donuts, soft pretzels, glazed donuts, candy apples, cotton candy, and this is all I need to see, which is right, which is right there, cheese. That's really all I care about. So we're at the pet ID tags here, and look at this. They have doggy shades. $12. It's not a bad price to get some eye protection for your doggy. Alright, so we're taking a gander in the Florida Strawberry Festival. This is the main exposition hall. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of fun stuff to get. Hey look, Dora the Explorer. I can't escape her to save my life. Yeah, look at all this. That is so cool. And here's another one. Right in. Oh look, here's the church. What's going on in there? Where's the steeple? And the church. It's definitely not the scene from Kill Bill. I'm at this really cool shop. And they, gosh, I like had so many of these when I was a kid. I mean, look at that. There's Pinocchio, Robin Hood. I mean, it's just three little pigs. They have some original sketches. <laughs> these are actually pretty amazing. Look at this. Mainly because. I can't remember the last time the stamp was 41 cents. Yep. Oh my gosh. A 39 cent stamp? 39 cent stamp. That's ridiculous. These this stuff's so, so cool. Though. Oh, look at Birthday. that. Birthday. Oh. 37 cent stamp. Yep. Were you born yet? Which one? 37 cents. 37. What year was that? No idea, but I'm saying it's really old. Yeah. Oh, that is just so cool. Birthday present. <laughs> but then, yeah. these peanut. Oh, this is so cool. I might be making a stop back here uh, before I leave. All right, so I'm doing a handwriting analysis. What sign are you? Uh, I am, it depends on the cusp. I'm Libra. I'm like right on the 23rd. Okay. All right, gang, look at these old school printers. Oh my gosh, I remember having these printers as a kid. 
is all about okay. you. Libra is the balance, peaceful, charming, uh -huh. but sometimes likes to argue. Oh, absolutely. That's why the best job for you is a lawyer. <laughs> okay. You argue for peace and balance. Okay. Force means elegance. Oh. Very cheerful, strong, enthusiastic. Yeah. Okay. That's your signature page based on your handwriting. Based on that. Well, thank you so much. So let's see here, based on my handwriting, if you guys can see that. Uh, let's see here. I have high principles and I strive for perfection. Uh, you sometimes ignore a healthy lifestyle. That is 100% the truth. Uh, you're able to see humor in situations when others can't. Yes, that's very true. In matters of the heart, you can be too shy. If you feel guilty about something, it's hard for you to rest until you make things right. That is 100% correct. Uh, you are sometimes <laughs> restless and dissatisfied with life, uh, causing you to appear moody. Uh, you have the ability to lead, but are often reluctant to take a chance. That is so true. And when things don't go right, you do your best to find the silver lining. Uh, pretty darn accurate to me. What do you think? It's real. It's so real. <laughs> but it was worth the money just to watch that printer <laughs> go back on this old school paper. Oh my gosh, I remember doing that when I was a kid. That's crazy. So Dwayne and I, we're in a crowded line for a little piece of heaven. This is the one room I told Dwayne on the way up here that we have to come to. And we are waiting. It is, and I give you, the Make Your Own Strawberry Shortcake booth. And it's only $4. Holy cow. I'm gonna get myself some, you know what, just load it up with whipped cream. I'll be happy with the whipped cream. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the strawberry chair. And the line of people to take a photo in the strawberry chair. Dwayne, you're gonna go in the strawberry chair? I'm not sitting in a strawberry, but would you sit in a strawberry? Yes, I would. <laughs> These are homemade half-day suckers in all sorts of flavors. Strawberry, bubblegum, caramel, cinnamon, whorehound. All right, in this very crowded market, we're making our way back the other way here. So we found out what the, uh, if it's pronounced correctly, whorehound is. Uh, she said it tastes like the, the same ingredient that's like in a cough drop. And I totally lost Dwayne. So this is the uh, Where's Dwayne vlog now. Dwayne, where'd you go? Where's Dwayne? Do we see him up high? See him down low? Where did he go? I just don't know. I just found him. He's on the phone. So, <laughs> Dwayne just mentioned something. <laughs> I'm not going to go through the full thing, but here we go. This right here is Dwayne's childhood. This is my childhood as well. And if you've never seen one of these, this is a bread box. You keep your bread in it. And then at the bottom here, matching it, go ahead, is your trash can. It's the 80s. It's the 80s. <laughs> It is. It's definitely the 80s, but it's also very southern. <laughs> this is childhood memories right here. So we have made it out of where they uh, try to sell you everything, and and uh, I can't see you. Here we go. And Dwayne and I are definitely going back in. We got some items. Dwayne's already purchased that they're holding for us. Uh, things, sorry, uh, things I'm going to end up buying probably. But now. We're going, yeah, we're going for something very greasy. What do we do? Just look at that. Look at that. That looks amazing. Holy cow, this ride is going fast. This is faster than the Fast and Furious ride at Universal. All right, guys, you want something deep fried? Holy cow, they have it. Deep fried bacon, dill pickles. Butter. Oh my gosh. 
That looks horrible and very yummy. I just did something that was probably very bullish. Well, I've uh, I've had I wanted to get like a couple of food items. I got a corn dog earlier. It was absolutely everything I wanted it to be. Uh, Dwayne's looking at a corn dog as well right now. But I just ordered curly fries. But the big bucket. That's right. I'm getting a bucket. A bucket <laughs> of French fries. And here it is, the bucket of curly fries. All right, gang, you can't come to a state fair or a carnival and not get a lemonade. And I got mine. And I got Wait, mine. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna look around at some of these carnival rides and I'm gonna show you the rides. I would never ride in a million years. As a kid, maybe yes. Uh, oh, you see that drip of sweat just going down there? Look at that. As a kid, maybe yes. As an adult, hell no. Like this thing. I would never ride that in a million years. Alright, you guys see this ride? This is another hell no. I will never ride this. And see this ride? This is another one you will not see me going on. If I rode this, I would be tasting my french fries again. So that's something I would not do. Did it in my youth, can't do it as an adult. Right beside it is another thing. Nope, not doing that. Definitely not doing that. But when I was a kid, oh, this was my jam right here. These things were awesome. All right, gang, I had to take some refuge in the uh, shade here. It's a hot day, but the Florida Festival was a lot of fun. I'm taking home with me uh, some chocolate covered strawberries, which are probably already melted in the container. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, Dwayne over here, Dwayne. Hi. Yes, he's taking home some strawberries and some other goodies. We did a little shopping, had a lot of fun. It was a great day. But with that, it's time for us to go back home to Orlando. So thank you so much for watching this. Hope you guys had fun. Remember, uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. From Jeff, exclamation point. Bye. And from Dwayne. Bye.